Okay, so I'm going to talk on mental illness and diagnoses and my view on them. Um, a diagnose, I mean, for me the aspect of being in this world is one is limited until one lets go of being limited. So uh, illnesses are often related to uh, individual karma and the collective karma, uh, which is, or, or individual consciousness and collective consciousness, in which there are belief systems. Belief systems of limitation, such as, uh, I don't know, ADHD, ADH, att attention deficit disorder. Um, and uh, those then create, the, if you believe in those things, they create the li that as an aspect of limited consciousness, experiencing limited consciousness. So with A Course in Miracles, like God did not create ADHD, uh, can start to delete that. Uh, and so you delete it from your consciousness, like a, like a program. Uh, all these illnesses are collective programs, so they have different aspects of program, programming going on. But you can, you can cancel them, you can cancel various aspects which are manifesting and my experience is they tend to go, sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly, um, but they tend to. Uh, my view is, so we've got levels of consciousness. So as, the, as one has a lot of repressed feelings, a lot of belief systems, and one is especially in the head a lot, one tends to become more and more identified with the body and the thoughts. And, it's, and that huge strong identification with body and thoughts creates extremely limited consciousness uh, and it usually leads to the darker aspects of living uh, addictions <coughs> uh, obsessive compulsive thinking uh, and various mechanisms to try and get temporary relief from that so as one does spiritual work or goes to spiritual groups Usually, most uh, spiritual pathways have got something to do with surrender and letting go. Uh, then the consciousness starts to become more limitless to the extent that one can let go and the intrinsic level of truth that's held within the books and the teachings and the group energy. And in those group energies, uh, the, the limitations that are usually held in the individual consciousness start to dissipate and disappear. So that's what we call miracles. Miracles tend to happen. And these heavy associations tend to drop away and, and eventually disappear and are completely forgotten. They don't exist at a certain level of consciousness. Uh, my own view on um, all diagnoses, uh, for me, in terms of spiritual work, I'm very interested in diagnosis because I, need, I want to know what to cancel. Uh, not because they're useful in the sense that I want to... Uh, it's like uh, when I go and see a doctor, if they tell me something, I think that's really interesting. Now I know what to cancel. You know, now I know the label that I need to cancel and get rid of that I've taken on board. So that's how I find them useful. In terms of... Um, what I would do if I've got diagnoses spiritually, um, is there a place for taking whatever it is, medication? Well, can yes, there can be. I think um, uh, taking magical cures can be useful, especially if you haven't got enough time to cancel them out, or you need something, you need urgent attention. Otherwise, if you can bear them, I'll sometimes not take anything and just uh, cancel it and feel it out and let it go and keep cancelling it until it um, disappears. Um, so for me, the uh, do I want to remain limited? Well, for me, uh, it's uh, I don't want to remain as a limited body. I find it much more a uh, happy experience to be not limited to being imprisoned in a body. I find that quite a limiting experience. Do I want to be limited in my head all the time? like be a constant thinking machine. But I also find that very tiresome and limited and limiting as well. Uh, and trust being out of the head as being far more 
uh, liberating, far more intuitive, and far more in flow with miracles. And, uh, and the world seems to be full of light and love. But, uh, and the things tends to be, what tends to be the high love's consciousness tends to be the absence of limitation. So uh, that's been my experience. The, the most miraculous experiences and the most light-filled experiences have been the absence of all limitation and experiencing limitation. So it's like limitation creates darkness in my experience. And, and um, yeah, I think a great example of that was actually the, the time I went to meet Muji. Uh, and uh, it was like it was a, a dull day, my feet were in pain. There was absolute fear and terror. And after he asked me to observe, what am I? Then all of that disappeared in white light. And when the world reappeared, it was in complete bliss. And um, as the body walked outside, as witnessing occurred, it was like the whole day was illuminated by bright sunlight. And whereas a few hours ago, before the experience, it was a dark and dreary day. So it was almost like uh, the ego, an identification with the ego creates darkness, or the perception of darkness. Uh, so um, from that, you know, also another thing, I mean, there's so many miracles that occurred. I had a gout attack as I went in to walk and see Muji, horrific pain in the feet and swelling. And after the immersion in light, uh, it totally disappeared. There was no pain, completely gone. The day which was dark was now completely illuminated and full of bliss and love. And so the experience is absolute trust in letting go of limitation. Uh, there's no faith in the head as being of any, being of any use whatsoever understanding well understanding from the head uh, for me is not uh, useful there's a revelation that occurs from the absence of head absence of being in the head and the absence of being limited to a body or stories or images or time or space so that's just been the experience um, however I, I do take you know not to say that I'm against, um, it's, like, it's a bit like the prayer of St. Francis, to be an instrument of the light. You know, one is not being run by the head. One is being, um, if you like, the infinite is spontaneously unfolding. So it's like, you know, I think Hawking, um, uh, St. Francis said it quite nicely, it's being a channel of the infinite being empty and letting the infinite run through whatever is there. Um, so, ment I mean, mental diagnoses are, have they used, I think, you know, the main, I think magical cures in, in the world work, as long as you believe in them, but, uh, and I'll sometimes use them, but then I'll hope to move on to things which are beyond that, and invite the miraculous in.